Supply chain issues may make your holiday a little less merry. Experts predict you'll probably see some empty store shelves. Our Steve Campion is live to explain what's going on now with this supply chain. Hey, Steve. We certainly don't want to hear this, do we? But I'll tell you what, we've spoken with a local winemaker than some of the bigger names in this business. It's one thing after another, starting with COVID. We, yes, we're talking about bottles, but it, it really goes beyond that. This afternoon, toasting this holiday season to a new year might get complicated, especially if you're picky. Local winemaker Jennifer Protho says she's been dealing with supply chain issues for months. First bottles, then fruit. We're having issues getting fruits, and that's just a combination between COVID and the freeze that happened in Texas. I know blackberries have been really, really hard for us to find. My uh, original supplier of blackberries have been out for at least four to five months. She's not alone. Others in Southeast Texas report similar issues, increases in costs across the board, and delays in shipping. They're finding creative ways to work around the challenges. We spoke with a French wine distributor, one of the biggest distillers in the area, and a party goods company. Steve, there will be some empty shelves. Uh, everybody's doing their best, uh, you know, to uh, remedy as best as we can, but then he's carrying a much more inventory when we can get it and uh, trying to allocate as best as we can. So the good thing for us is our bourbon is Texas made um, from um, grain to glass. So we haven't necessarily had the same challenges as some other distilleries that um, outsource some of those materials. Luckily events have come back, but it's still been difficult now that events are back with supply chain. So it's kind of like all the issues just flip flopped and flip flopped and we kept pivoting and that's kind of been our <laughs> our word of the last 18 months. And I know we've heard about this before, but a lot of the people we spoke with, again, were pointing to uh, shipping delays, a lot of items still out in those containers that they haven't been processed, brought on shore, and then kind of made their way to places around the country, like here in Southeast Texas. What I will also tell you is that simple tasks like shipping again, uh, that used to take just a couple days, now taking weeks in some cases, those companies are reporting. The one thing that they are asking all of us as consumers, as people who buy these goods, is to have some patience and understanding.